For 14 seasons, George the Rescue has been changing lives and raising spirits through the power of community and home renovation. It's hard to believe that this is our 165th episode, so to celebrate, we're gonna be checking back in on some inspiring people, places, and projects. Let's begin at what is quite possibly the happiest place on Earth, Camp Anchor, a recreational haven for individuals with disabilities. When I think of Camp Anchor, I think of unconditional love first. It's a magical, magical place. When we did the rescue here, I met so many campers. Nobody gives the love like the campers here at Camp Anchor do. Before George to the Rescue came, this area was gray, never got used at all. Oh my gosh! Look at that! They did the grass, they put up the shade, they built benches, they painted the mural, they set up the miniature golf course. So every day this area is used. to see you back at your miniature golf course. Sometimes you just gotta tap into the most wonderful place on earth. Watch out for the ninth hole, it's a doozy, all right? When our campers play here, they get so excited when they get a hole in one, even if they get a hole in five. Some of them, even if they can just hit the ball. I love seeing all the campers and the counselors utilizing this golf course and, and you can just hear it you can see it there's, there's so much fun they're having it fills me with pride knowing that we were part of this amazing place i want to play some golf take two mulligan the kids were getting holes in one some of them it was two shots george was lucky if he got it in after four shots just on the edge of the cup. You show me how to do it. Yeah! Boom! All the kids showed them up, which made my kids proud. Has anyone gotten a hole in one? I want to make sure we get somebody on the board today. We got a hole in one? Oh, I knew you would. I knew you would. I could see it. Good job, Vincent. Yeah, Vincent. Woo! He set the bar. Now I got to see if I can do it. I did it! Nobody cares, but I did it. I got a whole one. Vincent showed me how it's done. I'm the captain now. You the captain? Yes. All right, you're the captain. I'm the first mate. Land ho! Wind seems good. Land ho! One of this trip's highlights was reuniting with 2017 rescuee Audrey McCartan. For years, Anchor has been her home away from home. Audrey, I, I don't know if you remember me. I'm George. How are you? It's so good to see you. Audrey, come look. You love it? Look at that smile. For somebody who was told they were never going to walk, look at her running around, smile on her face. That's what this place does. Wow, that was a heck of a day. It was so good to see George back at Camp Banker again. We had such a phenomenal day with him. When I saw our George to the Rescue on TV highlighting Camp Banker, it was one of the proudest moments of my life. And it made me feel so good that people saw and could understand how special our population is and how our kids deserve things like this. If anyone is out there and ever wants to help support Camp Anchor, we constantly are looking for donations to help support all the programs that we have. Camp Anchor, it helps people live life to the fullest. And we have to remember that when we come together as a community, we can create spaces like this. Shortly after, 21-year-old Rebecca Colton was tragically paralyzed in a skiing accident. 
we teamed up with JRM and an army of trades to make her inaccessible home more suitable for her evolving needs. I'm really excited to see George again. I haven't seen him in a while. While the project scope was quite daunting, Rebecca's spirit, her sense of humor, and her support system inspired us all. Life for me has been a whirlwind. I've gone to two concerts. I go to the beach a lot now that it's the summer. I've opened an Etsy shop for my artwork. I try to do stuff every single day and make the most of every day. I think Rebecca is adjusting about as well as any person possibly could. She has a very positive attitude towards living and looks at not what she is unable to do, but what she can do. It shows everywhere in our house how fabulous this renovation was and how helpful it was for us. From widening doorways, putting in the elevator, her bathroom, her bedroom, being able to get in and out, the ramp so she can get in. This is beautiful. Oh, oh wow. It was honestly surreal. And it was hard to believe that George and the crew at JRM were able to accomplish what I thought were so many insurmountable obstacles with the house. We've been benefiting from it ever since. Hey, Rebecca. So How good are to you? See you? So good to see you. Your first time, it was my last time in the new house. It's been amazing. Yeah? Back patio, I love it. Like I had a birthday party out there. I had like 40 people. Oh, awesome. I sit out there all the time. It's so nice. And your art is unbelievable. When we first met Rebecca, she had recently discovered a passion for art therapy. Two years after her injuries and one year after our rescue, I'm pleased to report Rebecca is thriving, developing her craft and creating made by mouth masterpieces that you can display in your own home. Her art has evolved just as she's evolved. I'll walk into her art room and there's been times when I lost my breath. It was like, <gasps> wow. You are an artist. I love Thank watching you. them come to life on your TikToks. Thank you. I love doing it too. And I feel like I've come a long way to now. When I was Rebecca's age, I actually worked as a painter's apprentice. I couldn't wait to reconnect, support her creative endeavors, and put my old skills to good use. Today, George and I are gonna paint some mountains, stars. So first, let's put smocks on. Okay. So we don't ruin your nice pink shirt. Right, and I don't wanna uh, ru ruin your nice right. periwinkle one. Make sure the paint side's up. Thank you for the <laughs> yeah. Painting is a hobby that I've come to fall in love with, and I don't know if I would be able to have much fun with it if I didn't have this like beautiful art room with a table that goes up and down. And the renovation has just really changed everything for us. All right, so that's a good first layer. Yeah. But, you know, as it dries, I could actually paint some stars. You could turn it upside down, and it'll be easier for me to reach the top. There you go, perfect. I've definitely surprised myself with how much I've advanced with my art, and I'm really happy with how far I've come. I want to go to this place the mountains and the pink sky. Yeah, sometimes I say oh, I'll paint the places I can't go to, or the places I'd like to be. Okay, that's just good. Yep, yep. So we could also add, we have the crescent moon thing right there. This way, or is it going to be this way? Oh, the other way. Yeah, I thought so too. But... I, like a, I like a waning crescent. You're nailing it. Thank you. All right, that might be good. We could peel it off. All right. The grand reveal. Oh, perfect. Looks uh -huh. great. Looks great. Look at that. I'd like to be there. I would like to be there, too. I can't believe I'm painting with George right now. It's crazy. Oh, I, I can't believe I'm painting, well, assisting you. I think George and I did a really good job today. We made some beautiful mountains and beautiful stars for the moon, and I, I was really happy with how George did. He learned really quickly. I didn't want to leave you empty-handed, so. Of course, I saw that you were using tape to create your horizon lines, so I wanted to bring you two different types of scotch painter's tape. This is your traditional blue. This is your delicate surface. Either one would work. And you were saying that you wanted to hang some stuff on the walls here. Nothing better than command. It holds okay. strongly, it removes cleanly. So I'm excited to use it all. You inspire me and you inspire so many people every day, so. Thank you, so do you, honestly. It takes one to know one, right? The George to the Rescue experience was, was monumental for us. We're living and thriving in all the hard work and energy and time and effort and generosity. It's really, it's, it's exactly as it was the day you left. Every time I'm in the elevator or I'm in my art room or I'm using my voice control, I think about you guys. We're so, so thankful for everybody that worked on this. Off to the next rescue. Yep. Can I uh, get you situated so you can keep on keeping on? Yeah, I'll turn back around and I'll, I'll keep painting.
few George Rescue projects were more challenging than our 2020 beachside behemoth for lifeguard Sam Jarmer. After suffering a major spinal cord injury, Sam was unable to access his family's 1880s home. When George the Rescue renovated my house, it allowed me to be back in my home with my family. I lived in another house we had across the street. When I think about the reveal day, I remember not being able to hold it together. Are you ready? No. Oh. I'm right. sorry, hold on. We haven't lived together as a family since Sam's accident over a year ago. The second I saw that elevator, like, blew me away. Wow. <laughs> This is amazing. And everything else from there was just icing on the cake. We were able to maintain a normal life again. Since George to the rescue, I've made a lot of progress in my recovery, and I am still working on getting back to my life and walking to be a lifeguard again. This is Project Walk, and I come here three days a week for PT. People that come here have the right mindset that they're not going to let this be the end of their recovery. And go. Good, let's go one more. The staff that works for me are amazing. They are the core, they're the key to why we are so successful. We can help people learn that what they may have thought was impossible is actually possible. I have a very unique perspective because I was paralyzed as a client here and now I'm working hands-on with other clients. I think it was a month after I graduated high school, I dove into the water and then I broke my neck. They told me I would never walk again. I would be on a breathing tube for at least a year to three years. I was off the breathing tube in a week and then eventually was able to walk, was able to run, jump, and then now I'm able to play sports and I just did triathlon. It's very fulfilling that I'm able to help people in the same situation. I could just kind of read their mind in a way. Sam has continued to defy the odds in his quest to walk and lifeguard again. His progress and his dedicated supporters are proof that Sam Vincible is far more than a nickname. When I first came to Project Walk, I had just started to stand. Now that I've been here, we've increased my strength and I'm now able to stand on my own. Push! <sighs> nice. One of the days that stands out the most to me at Project Walk is when Sam was able to take step forwards in parallel bars. I remember recording it and taking pictures, and then I went into the bathroom and very silently cried. With a spinal cord injury, little teeny tiny milestones are monumental. It feels really nice because I really like proving people wrong. So like to see the fact that like I can recover and I'm slowly working my way up to that. Project Walk, similar to George the Rescue, just wants to help people when they don't know where else to turn, giving them the opportunity to just live. I hope that when the people see my story, they just take away determination because no one else determines your life for you, so you gotta take it into your own hands. I don't think he realizes the impact his story has on others. And even at the beach, they still fly his flag. On the bench, he was injured. Sam Vincible is who Sam is. He will do whatever it takes to make his recovery possible. He's impacted my life probably more than I'm impacting his, actually. To see what George does for people, it's, it means as much to me as what we do here because when people leave our facility where everything is nice and accessible, they're generally going to homes and towns that are not that accessible. Thank you for everything you did for my house. It means the world to me, and I still enjoy it every single day. I didn't realize how worn down we all were. I didn't realize the stress we were all under, but you were able to give us a house, give us a place to live, so thank you. Community Center projects are always very special because they impact multiple families with one meaningful transformation. Hey, while all rescues are different, we have never attempted anything like last year's Freeport PAL boxing gym renovation, and I have certainly never met anyone like trainer Joe Higgins. We've never taken one dime in this gym. It's all volunteer, and it'll always will be. Good right hand weave. Our teaching is virtuous. Nothing in life that's hard seems to be harder than what you did inside this square. And if I know the kids on this side of town are doing okay, 
worked and we did something we were supposed to do. This is where people come to work out, this is where people come to get off the streets, this is where people come to not just win in the ring, but win in life. I really had no idea how special it was gonna be. When I saw it for the first time, I was floored. And we've used every inch of what they've done to improve this place. Holy mackerel, you got the logo on the mat. Oh my goodness, this is so freaking believable. I, I, I can't tell you how my heart feels right now. I expected this to be good, but this is off the charts. We have plumbing. We have bathrooms in here. We have air conditioning in the locker room, so there's a cool down station. It's really made a big difference in our program. I mean, you walk in there, you just, you can't help but just fall in love with boxing. So good being yes. back, my friend. Good to see you, man. I love walking in and just seeing the gym just bustling with activity. Unbelievable. For the community, for the kids. I can't believe this is the same building. I want to get to work right now. Well, you build it, they'll come. We always had a pretty active gym, but I think I told George that if we make this gym bigger, I'm gonna have twice as many kids, and that, that's exactly what's happened. We've been open six days a week since we reopened, and uh, we actually have kids on a competitive level already. Sometimes you gotta step out of your comfort zone and into the ring. We gotta say, I'm a little nervous to be getting in the ring with Joe Higgins. Physical at working and physical at boxing, uh, apples and oranges, man. Going from command hooks to right hooks. We do it all here on the show. You get in your boxing sense. When I jab, you throw your left hand right to that pad. Pop. Nah, a little hard, a little faster. Step in. Ah. That a boy. Loosen up a little bit. So watch. Bang, bang. That a boy. Go ahead. Hands up, chin down. Ah, ah, ah. Not bad. Ah, ah. Boom. Keep them hands up. Look at that, right? Any two people can knock the snot out of each other. It's the ones that can kind of not get hit a lot, but can still touch you a lot. Uh, uh, uh. How about that, Georgie? A lot of stuff here for a guy that's never done it before, baby. You're hanging in there. Uh, uh, uh. Whoa! He packs a wall up there, huh? Wow, what can we do with this guy if we trade him for a few months? Just a step in this ring. Yeah, man. You gotta have a lot right here. You better and a believe lot right it. Here. George did great today. It takes a lot of heart to get up here and do this stuff, but it also takes a lot of heart to get out there and improve people's lives in other situations where they need help. So he's got a clue. That was one heck of a workout. Definitely got my sweat on. If a gym doesn't smell, people aren't working out in there. Obviously, people are definitely working out in here. So that's why I'm hooking Joe up with a 3M Filtrate Smart Air Purifier. Make what they're breathing in a little bit fresher. For the remainder of this workout, I want all of you guys to work out uniformed like you know how to, no moping around. We come in this gym every day excited. It's like, you can feel worn down or what have you, but this is our happy place, man, because it makes everybody around you happy. I gotta kick the kids out of here. They, some of them don't wanna leave. You know, and uh, I know it's the, maybe the first organized thing they've done in their lives. And, you know, once a kid learns that kind of stuff, they can't get enough. It's time for us to start matching what's on that wall. And I'm very excited with what we have here. All right, because you guys are doing a great job so far. We did something really good here that's gonna last for a long, long time. I mean, George can come back here 30 years from now and this program's gonna still be going. George, I just wanna thank you again because what you built here is actually working and is gonna to continue to work for many, many, many years to come. You're always invited back. We're gonna crown a hell of a lot more champions, all right? I'll bring it in, train fight win. Come on, come on, come on. One, two, three, train fight win! This may be our 165th episode, but I promise you we are just getting started. Helping others never gets old. Thank you to those who make it happen. Our amazing crew, our loyal design build professionals, sponsors, and all of you, our viewers. We got a lot of great rescues to come.